student scholars in association with Goa Headmasters Association. Hello students and welcome back to part two of Glimpses of India, Kurg. Now let us learn this beautiful lesson as um, uh, many of you who have gone to this place will definitely have a lot of experiences to share about this beautiful place, all right, which is rightly called the Scotland of India. Now Kurg is a, a coffee country. It is famous for its rainfall and spices. Kurg is very beautiful, all right? It seems like a piece of heaven that has drifted on earth, all right? It is somewhere between Mysore and Manglo. So if you're traveling, Kurg is between Mysore and Manglo. It is an area of low equal with unequal heights. And uh, the men here in this place are very brave warriors. The women of Kurg are very pretty okay if you go to that place you will see the women uh, who are really beautiful and uh, this place is also known for its rainfall as I've just told you and coffee plantations all right it has got rain during the uh, time from June till September October it goes on all right and it has also a lot of wild animals okay uh, also known as Kodugu it is one of um, the smallest district of Karnataka. Let us uh, just take an overview of Kurg. The best time to visit Kurg. Here you can see in this picture, okay, uh, that Kurg is really beautiful during the monsoons. So the monsoon starts somewhere from June and it goes up till October. And a lot of tourists are seen visiting this place during the monsoons. Also, the location and climate of Kurg, it is located uh, 260 kilometers southwest of Bangalore and it is the tiniest district of southern Karnataka. The largest river Kaveri is worshipped by the local people, the Kurgis as they are known as, they worship this river Kaveri. Then as I've told you student, they have seasons there. The winter season actually starts in December and goes up to February. Summer is uh, starting from March, it goes up to May. And we have the rainy season which starts in June, which goes up to November, right? Madkeri, the district capital is also known as the Scotland of India and the Kashmir of Karnataka. So students, if you move to this place or rather if you go to see this place, definitely uh, the place looks mind blowing and its uh, beauty adds a lot of, you know, charm to that place. The hills, you can see then the tea plantations, coffee plantation, spices. To add to that, they've also got the tree canopies. Most of the tourists who visit Kurg, they go and stay in the uh, tree canopies. I'm going to be showing you in my next slide how these canopies look like, okay? So we also have the tree canopies in Kurg. In this picture, you can see one of the cottages located in the forest of Kurg, all right? And um, here you can see women uh, in the coffee plantations, okay? Uh, they also have tea plantations there. In the next picture, students, you can see a panoramic view of Kurg. How beautiful it looks, especially during a sunset. Then this is called a tree canopy again. So you can see a beautiful shape of that tree. And um, Kurg is also known for wild elephants. There are a lot of wild animals which are in the forest of Kurg. And here is a picture of the coffee beans. So this summarizes uh, about Kurg and what Kurg is known for. Students, now let us read the lesson. Please make sure that you uh, listen very attentively as I read this lesson loud to you. Midway between Mysore and the coastal town of 
Manglo seeks a piece of heaven that must have drifted from the kingdom of God. So as I've already told you, midway, all right, sits this beautiful kingdom of God. This land of rolling hills is inhabited by a proud race of martial men, beautiful women and wild creatures. So this particular land of rolling hills is inhabited, that is occupied by a proud race of martial men. So we have brave men and uh, women living in this place, all right. Also, uh, we have wild creatures. Kurg or Kodugu, the smallest district of Karnataka is home to evergreen rainforest, spices and coffee plantations. So these three things you keep in mind about Kurg, one is the rainforest, the second is spices and the third is coffee plantations. That is, it is well known for all these three things. Evergreen rainforest cover 30% of this district. During the monsoons, it pours enough to keep many visitors away. So there is heavy rainfall during the monsoons. And I've told you monsoon starts in June, goes up till November. So most of the visitors, they keep themselves away uh, from visiting Kurg because it rains very heavily. The season of joy commences from September and continues till March. So just how like how we have a season in Goa, that is uh, tourists start coming in Goa right from November, it goes up till March, April and so on. No, uh, Of course during the monsoons also we used to have a lot of tourists to see our beautiful Goa. But this year because of the pandemic, many of the tourists limited themselves from going to different places. So Kurg also that way has got lot of tourists visiting uh, during the season time and off season time as well, right? The weather is perfect with some showers thrown in for good measure. So the weather is very perfect during even the season time. Sometimes occasional showers are seen. The air breathes of invigorating coffee. So around the place you will actually get the smell of coffee. All right, because uh, coffee plantations are seen everywhere in Kurg. Coffee estates and colonial bungalows stand tucked under tree canopies in prime corners. So most of the places in Kurg are occupied by these uh, colonial bungalows and tree canopies. And they're located in prime corners. Prime corners means in important places where tourists can go and live there. All right, students. Now, um, I hope all of you know the meaning of prime. Prime means important, okay? And canopies means uh, roof-like coverings that form shelters, all right? So I had shown you the picture of canopies. I've also shown you uh, another picture right there, all right, in the main slide of a canopy. The fiercely independent people of Kurg are possibly of Greek or Arabic, descent. So you need to keep this in mind that the Kurgis actually descended, for, uh, descended from the Greeks or the Arabs. Uh, as one story goes, a part of Alexander's army moved south along the coast and settled here when return became impractical. So Al Alexander's army which had reached to Kurg could not return back, all right? So as a result of which they settled there as return became impractical. That is not possible for them to go back to their country. These people married amongst the locals. So you see uh, the Greeks, the Arabs who were settled in Kurg, they married with the local women, all right? And their culture is apparent in the martial traditions. So you can see the culture still prevalent in their martial tradition. The men, women of Kurg are very brave warriors, all right? This is shown uh, among all of them. Marriage and religious rights, which are distinct from the Hindu mainstream. So uh, the culture of Kurg is a little bit different from the Hindu culture, all right? As I told you, they have got uh, married to people uh, originating from the Greek and the Arab origin. The theory of Arab origin draws support from the long 
black coat with an embroidered waist belt known as kupia. Students, you can see the picture of a man standing tall here, all right, wearing a long gown. And this long gown is having a belt, which is an embroidered waist belt, okay. So this traditional dress of the Kurgis is called kupia. I have also shown you another picture there of a couple, Kodavus, all right, as I told you, Kurgis are also called Kodavus. They are dressed in their typical attire that is called the kupia. We come to the next part now. Kurki homes have a tradition of hospitality and they are more than willing to recount numerous tales of valor related to their sons and fathers. Kurgis have a tradition of hospitality. They are very warm, they are very friendly people and they are more than willing to recount numerous tales of valor related to their sons and fathers. You know, they feel very excited to tell about their forefathers' uh, stories, how they lived, all right, stories of valor, that is of courage and um, of course, uh, uh, how they lived their life. They were very brave and all this was depicted in the wars that they fought. The Kurg Regiment is one of the most decorated regiment in the Indian Army. So if you go to Kurg and if you see the regiment in Kurg, it is one of the most decorated one. And the first chief of the Indian army was General Karyapa, who was a Kurgi. So this is another feather to their cap. That is the first chief of the Indian army was a Kurgi whose name was General Karyapa. Even now, Kodavus are the only people in India permitted to carry firearms without a license. So student, don't you this, think this is something uh, which is a wonderful opportunity given to the Kurgis in Goa or in any other state of India, people cannot uh, have firearms unless you have a license with you. But Kurgis are very simple, very friendly, very hospitable people who have also got the opportunity to hold firearms, all right, without a license. And of course, they are not harmful. Keep this in mind. Kurgis have never harmed anybody, all right? And this is the trust uh, that they have placed in the others as well. The river Kaveri obtains its water from the hills and forests of Kurg. So as I told you in the beginning, river Kaveri is also worshipped by the Kurgis. And this river gets water from the uh, forests of Kurg. Now forest of Kurg is very rich in resources. All right. It has got a lot of wild animals, it has got a lot of different variety of plants and a lot of things happening there as well. One of the famous large fresh water fish abounds in this water. So just like how we have different type of fish uh, found in the rivers, in the seas, in Goa, in Kurg also, that is in River Kaveri, you find a special fish which is called Mahasir, okay. I have shown you below in the picture how the fish looks like. That's a mahasir. Kingfishers dive for their catch while squirrels and langurs drop partially eaten fruit for the mischief of enjoying the splash and the ripple effect in the clear water. So students mostly you can see the kingfisher that is the birds diving in the water to have a bite of this fish, okay. And what the langurs do, that is uh, the langurs and squirrels, they have the fruits which are found on the trees and they drop it just for the mischief and the splash, okay? And the ripple effect in the clear water. They just want to have fun. They want to enjoy themselves. We also find uh, different types of elephants. They, uh, they are seen enjoying their being bathed and scrubbed in the river by their Mehouts. So elephants are also found in Kurg and um, if one goes to Kurg, you can, you can see the caretakers of the elephants who are called Mehouts, okay. They are seen bathing the elephants. So students, these are the various things that you see in Kurg in the pictures. You can see the adventure sports here, all right. I've shown you canoeing, then there is uh, rappelling here where you can see some men climbing up the rock and uh, um, uh, the fish, of course, which is shown in the below picture, okay? Now, 
the most laid back individuals become converts to the life of high energy adventure so kurg is known very very uh, well known for adventure sports just like in goa tourists come they hear a lot about adventure activities happening here as well no what a sport so to say so once they come to here they really get excited because they don't find such type of uh, coastal areas in their state especially people coming from the north of india or for that matter any part of india goa is another paradise for them they feel really excited goa is a very special place for everybody so kurg also has got a very special place for many people because kurg also offers a lot of adventure sports water sports to the tourist okay some of them are listed over there i've shown you there so, uh, high adventure activities like um, river rafting canoeing okay you can see the picture of people canoeing rappelling rock climbing and mountain biking so even you can see tourists taking their bikes and uh, climbing the mountain that is going with their bikes on a mountain now students here again i have shown you the adventure activities in kurg and of course we can also see the animals that are seen in kurg here okay numerous walking trails in this region are a favorite with trackers so people who go for tracks in kurg you can see most of them uh, going on numerous walking trails in this region okay then you can see different kinds of birds here bees and butterflies they are there to give you company so as you go along you move in the forest you can see birds and butterflies also giving you company such so beautiful is this place macaques malabar squirrels langurs and slender loris keep a watchful eye from the tree canopy so you have these beautiful animals you can see the picture of langurs okay here's the picture of langurs in the other picture you can see the macaque and then of course on top you can see the different adventure sports in kurg and the tourists having a very good time while uh, holidaying there you can see the tourist uh, biking along the mountain side rappelling is another beautiful activity mountain biking okay so students if you go to kurg definitely we need to experience and uh, you know uh, enjoy all these adventure activities there i do however prefer to step aside from wild elephants and the author says he prefers to step aside from wild elephants because they can be of course very dangerous they can actually uh, tramp you to death right the climb to the brahmagari hills brings you into a panoramic view of the entire misty landscape of kurg so kurg is a beautiful misty landscape so the climb to the brahmagari hills brings you into a panoramic view of the entire misty landscape so to have an overall look at the beautiful city of kurg one must climb the brahmagari hills kurg is also surrounded okay by astounding places of beauty like the island of nisar uh, it is called nisar gadama and baila kupe okay i'll just read about that a little more the climb of the brahmagari hills brings you into a panoramic view of the entire misty landscape uh, of kurg a walk across the rope bridge leads to the 64 acre island of nisar gadama running into buddhist monks from india's largest tibetan settlement at nearby baila kupe is a bonus so students as i have told you you can also uh, you know it is surrounded by all these uh, beautiful places uh, like the island of nisar gadama and uh, baila kupe which is india's largest tibetan settlement and when you go over there you will see monks wearing red uh, orange uh, all right 
uh, and yellow all these different colors are seen there you can see the monks wearing these different colors red orange and yellow uh, and their lifestyle fascinates the visitors they've got a different kind of a lifestyle altogether if you go to a buddhist monastery you see such a beautiful atmosphere they're very serene all right very peaceful and they are seen in those robes all right which are red orange or yellow sometimes so this is a, the kind of atmosphere which people get while in these islands of nisargadama and bailakupe a mix of diverse cultures can be seen here uh, which represents the heart and soul of india so uh, the monks in red ochre and yellow robes are amongst the many surprises that wait to be discovered by visitors searching for the heart and soul of india here in kul so definitely that place is uh, that is where the monks live is an other great attraction for the tourist who visit kul and uh, students says i have told you kurg is one place which is breathtaking all right you cannot miss on going to this place because it has got so much to offer such beautiful things that one can go and see in kurg all right as i told you the adventure sports then we have got the water sports we've got the beautiful birds the animals nature to admire and most of all to add to the beauty of kurg is the misty landscape you'll see how beautiful it is right from morning till the end of the day personally i can share my experience with you when i went to kurg it was a mind blowing experience so um, we have such beautiful places in our country all right just like how kurg is also known as a paradise it is a small piece of heaven that is drifted and settled here on earth all right just like as i've told you goa is also like a paradise on earth the beautiful beaches the sand sea and sun attracts a, a lot of tourists in goa as well so every state has got its own importance all right the culture traditions the kurgis have is still today admired by the tourist and these uh, people of uh, kurg they are very very friendly they are very warm or right? they are very warm hearted ever willing to help anybody who is in kurg and most importantly is of course the aroma that one can get while in kurg that is the fresh air of coffee that you can breathe all right till now if i can recollect the coffee is so tasty and of course you just feel like going on having it again and again so kurg is known for all these uh, beautiful adventure activities it is known for rainfall and it is known for different kinds of spices so students this is uh, uh, the important um, uh, these are a few important things that i have explained to you about this lesson so let us now just run through the a uh, vocabulary that i have uh, made a note of of this lesson so students let us take the first one the meaning of drifted right what is the meaning of drifted been carried along gently by a you have come across these words uh, in the lesson the second uh, word that we came across is marshal what is the meaning of marshal having to do with war the third one is canopies roof like coverings from shelters okay i have shown you also the pictures of canopies i think i have them in my slide here you can also have a look of the canopy here so these are the type of houses that uh, uh, you see while you are in kurg and you can get to live and experience the stay in these houses okay uh, tales of valor means stories of courage and bravery usually uh the stories that the kurgis tell about uh, uh uh bravery all right for during the times of war what is the meaning of laid back many times we must have heard people saying oh he is very laid back means people who are very relaxed okay uh, they are not in a hurry to do anything they take their own time all right the next word that we have is rafting have you gone any time for rafting okay maybe many times you've been on a holiday and you've got the uh, opportunity to go for river rafting so it means um, traveling in a river on a in a raft okay so that is called rafting 
Next, what is canoeing? What is the meaning of canoeing? Traveling in a river in a canoe. You know, the small boats. No, I think I had shown the picture in the uh, last few slides that is canoeing. Then, grappling. You can see the picture right below there. It means going down a cliff by sliding down a rope. Okay. So, this is called canoeing. Uh, the next word is trail. Paths created by walking. Trackers use trails, no? So, they use these paths to walk. And finally, we have the next word, panoramic view. Uh, I just showed you in the other slide. It means a view of a wide area of land. So, students with this, we have come to an end to this beautiful lesson, Kurg. Okay. Kurg is a beautiful place. It is a piece of heaven on earth. Enjoy God's beautiful paradise, appreciate the beauty of nature and thank God for all the blessings. Thank you. Have a good day.